So there are two ways that you can get a tear of your rotator cuff tendon. Most tears are degenerative, meaning they occur with time as we age. That is a part of our body that gets older with time and there's an area of the tendon that is prone to degenerative tears. The other way that patients can get a rotator cuff tear is from a traumatic injury and this is usually a very high energy injury such as a fall from a height or a car accident and that can cause a tear of the tendon from the bone. The way that you usually know that you have a tear or, or tendonitis is pain in the shoulder that radiates down the side of the shoulder. So rotator cuff pain usually does not cause neck pain but rather pain down the side of the arm. Patients with rotator cuff problems experience pain with overhead lifting, reaching behind your back, such as putting on a coat or putting something away on a high shelf. I'm Dr. Lisa Gallitz. I'm the System Chair of Orthopedic Surgery at the Mount Sinai Health System. I'm available Tuesdays and Thursdays, both at Mount Sinai West and at Mount Sinai Hospital.